there seems to be a bit of a spectator sport going on here in front of us. They don't seem to be putting, getting their boot on it. Bit of breakdown of communication in the Atlon Town midfield, but That's Ross Fay is dispossessed, and this is Tete now on the break for Rovers, and Dean Ebe is in behind. He takes a touch on the right, cuts back onto his right now, and Ebe allowed a lot of time and space, and he'll be disappointed he didn't hit the target, Gary Riley. As you stick, tough luck. <laughs> Throwing, trying to build from the back. Haven't seen them really do this so far in the game, but that didn't last too long as Man Minogue sends it sky high. Dean Ebe displaying his strength in the air once again. Good flick onto Oakley. Oakley drives into the Longford area. Takes on the shot from a very acute angle. And that's how they ended up with the 2v1 at the back post. It's another free kick to Longford. It's going to be Connor Crowley to take again. Of course, he's provided a number of assists from corners lately. This is nearly as good as a corner, given where it's from. Connor Crowley. High ball towards the back post. Talon got up, but Talon has been a judge to have climbed on the back of his marker there. That'll be a free kick to Athlone. Connor Crowley trying to recreate what he's done many times before this season. Crowley. And the oh. header on goal and it flashes just wide. I believe that was Frank Campbell. Oh yeah, there's the shot. On goal from uh, Muagaisi. Good work by O'Shea in hand. That's a there you go. A bit of space now. You can drive. You can do it. Dean O'Shea has joined the Longford Town attack from the back. He finds Frank Campbell out on the wing. Campbell floated inside, and that could have gone absolutely anywhere. A better outcome for Longford because now Athlone have a chance to squeeze Longford into that corner and try and turn the ball over deep in the final third. That was unfortunate though for Minogue. Talent intercepted by Torre. Epe, first time shot and Jack Brady almost lost it. Got his body behind it though and that's all. Nice takedown here from Muagaisi. He was cut inside, he still got it. Can he find a teammate? He can and it's deflected into the back of the net and Athlone Town have the lead and it's Tete aided by the deflection that's beaten Jack Brady and Athlone Town have the lead in the Midlands Derby chance creator although Conor Crowley will have something to say about that but good ball in now from Longford Town needs, needs to happen well, here is the chance creator Conor Crowley with the corner gives the little shuffle he's got a better contact on this one bit of mayhem in the Athlone Town box out of Yemo with the acrobatics it flies over the bar pitch not for town players not wise to that at all to be fair his arm was by his side it certainly came off it but and that's a loose ball from the back from Jack Brady Longford Town are losing their heads here can Connolly use his head to kill this game off he finds Ebe and there's a strike what a save that is from Jack Brady Tete almost had a double how they could do with a goal from the youngster now local lad so he knows exactly what this game means as Longford break down the right now with Elworthy. Elworthy will get a second bite of the cherry. Bit of chaos in there. It'll fall to Emmanuel James and Athlone Town throwing themselves at the ball to make the block. Could that ball have not been just let go out? Campion Hines with another long one. It's quite a sight that long throw in of his. There's the shot from Torre. Oh and Jack Brady under pressure has dropped it and somehow cleared off the line. That is a remarkable goal line clearance from Oshin Hand, a oh. back heel off the line. Up it up. Priosti's taken up a really good position there. You can see he gets time to turn. Chambers to Priosti. Priosti cross off the left towards Dean O'Shea. O'Shea tries to head it across the six yard box. Emmanuel James, incredible stuff. A goal line clearance down one end just moments ago and Longford Town take the reprieve and they have leveled up the Midlands Derby.